Joker was electrocuting dude on the daily. Had him in the chair like this mannequin 24-7. And then he proceeds to do the unthinkable. This nigga eats China. Girls kiss other girls. And no one bats an eye. But when I kiss my homies goodnight, society, society calls me gay. Alright, so we all know about the Joker, aka the Clown Prince of Crime, Gotham's Nightmare, one, one of, of Satan's, Satan's greatest, greatest soldiers. soldiers. But what you huh? don't know is that this man is 10 times more evil than you think. Osama Bin Laden and Adolf Hitler look like angels compared to this nigga. So let's take a trip down memory lane and talk about some of the most f up things he has ever done so starting off the playbook let's talk about how he paralyzed and r-worded barbara gordon the daughter of commissioner jim gordon my dude really went and found this woman's ip address like a nigga losing on call of duty in game chat and pulled up on her when she least expected she heard a knock at her door like hey yo the pizza here then opened the door and got hit with that oh nigga treatment got her back blown out and legs crippled and everything and it gets worse because in the comics my man was feeling romantic and well i can't really show that or this video will get demonetized so we just can't censor all that but mind you barbara was batwoman as well so the fact that not only he outsmarted someone with extreme intelligence and fighting prowess and took her bat ussy as well there's only one word to describe this man demon oh and uh back on the demonetization note i see you motherfuckers at youtube and y'all can suck my with the side of if y'all think y'all about to demonetize me again we sick and tired of that nigga that <laughs> we sick and tired of him then up next on the list of felonies for this man, we got when he tortured Jason Todd, aka the second Robin, or best known as the Red Hood for over a year, and then killed him. And the fact that there's three different interpretations of this is more wild than when Will Smith slapped the Minecraft out of Chris Rock. So let's talk about the game version first. In Batman Arkham Knight, Jason Todd supposedly went out to try and hunt for Joker, which resulted in Joker kidnapping him and taking him to an abandoned wing of Arkham Asylum. And throughout the game, we see all the tragedies he had to go through my man's really had to get tied up with rope to a wheelchair and even barbed wire barbed wire nigga you know how bad that must hurt i'd rather take getting hit in the shins with a scooter than to deal with this because even a slight inch of movement gonna feel like a wasp stinging you and it don't stop there because he over there telling them that batman done left him for another robin and just manipulated my boy it's like hoes nowadays when they find a dude with a broken heart but they just want his money then joker turn on that weed music and pull out that crowbar and i'm pretty sure y'all can guess what happened next no 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 wait 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 home run then we see Jason hung up still and in bondage like something freaky about to happen to him. Joker then start feeling like Gambit in the Deadpool and Wolverine movie. Talk about some, I'm about, about to make a, a name, name for myself, myself here. Yeah. And brands this dude's Damn. face. He really forced Jason to remember him with that big ass J on his face. If anyone ever wonders where he got that emblem from, just know Joker in the back like, It's me, nigga. It's me, nigga. It's always been me, nigga. And it's always been me, nigga. And then lastly, he broke him down so much both mentally and physically to where Joker wanted Yahoo! to become a Twitch streamer and put a camera on Jason and sent the footage to Batman. He over here asking him to reveal who Batman was under the mask. And just as he was about to tell him, Joker ups the stick and blows him down to hell. No heads up, no countdown, just straight bullets to death. I mean, look how Jason laid out right here. Bro really got sent to the shadow realm because his face turned pitch black this thing got mr popo skin chilling on his face right now how joker gonna turn the lights off on this man but make him walk towards the light in heaven that's kind of diabolical but i'm not surprised because it's joker and y'all remember what i said there's three versions and this is just the first iteration of the torture because it was way worse in the comics so in the comic version of this of course jason was still getting beat up and all that but it's the creativity that really just makes it more evil so for starters joker was electrocuting dude on the daily had him in the chair like this mannequin 24 7 they made him eat up all types of bullshit too like what is this is this spoiled milk is that an anglerfish nigga this food up here look like 
the stuff the Baker family tried to make Ethan eat in Resident Evil 7. But remember when I said he was getting beat up all the time? Well, I forgot to mention that not only was he getting beat up by goons with Batman outfits on, but he had the entire Bat villain roster get they licks in. Joker was passing out punches like he over Winfrey talking about some. You get a punch. You get a punch. Everyone gets a punch. And I mean everyone. Killer Croc, Penguin, Try Two Face, Bane, Victor Sass, Mommy, I mean Harley Quinn. You name them, and they was probably there. But even through the odds, Jason ended up surviving this version because Deathstroke came to kill him. But since Jason had that bag on him and offered him more money to help him escape, Deathstroke was like, shit. That's a great idea. I'm with that. Tell, Tell him to bring, bring me, me my money. money. Yeah! And he got Jason up out of there, causing my guy to survive. Now, even though he escaped, I got some questions right here. Because mind you, that all happened for well over a year. And what? you're telling me the world's greatest detective who has solved many different mysteries in one night couldn't find his own adoptive son that quickly, let alone a week at the most? I'm smelling fraud behavior. You're a phony. Hey, everybody. This guy is a great big phony! Then, of course, is the animated version of it where Jason gets kidnapped again and beat a lot. But this one was toned down a lot more because he was only beaten with a crowbar for a little minute. But even so, them hits was hard. Damn, he hit that nigga so hard that he played three different times. So after that, Joker left this man with a bomb and judging by Jason's face, he already know. I'm, I'm dead. dead. And my man's went BOOM! And then yeah, he died again. But y'all know what we don't want to die? My YouTube channel. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, please and thank you. And don't forget to check out my other socials as well. The links are all in the description below. The YouTube is already growing at a steady pace, so let's get them subscribers! Just do it! So since we was on the topic of a Robin being tortured, let's talk about how he literally turned a Robin into a Joker. So this little boy right here is Tim Drake, the third Robin. In Batman Not Beyond, I... Joker kidnapped yet another Robin and experimented on him until he finally turned into a Joker Jr. And lo and behold, this nigga was the spitting image of his so-called father. The hair, the skin, the smile, and the fit just screamed the clown prince of on, crime. Though. But Tim being the goat he was, he managed to take control over the serum that was placed into him and actually killed the Joker. Something that fraud man still refused to do because of his stupid ass code. Look y'all, I'm not the type of dude to say who should and should not be able to live. Hell, I'm not even Batman. But I'm pretty sure 99% of the population would agree that this nigga, he needed to get thrown out like a broken computer expeditiously. And since we're on the topic of technology, my guy was so diabolical that he had a plan just in case for his death. He literally inserted a nano chip into Lil Tim's brain and made him transform into the previous Joker years later. Man's was feeling like Captain Ginyu over here swapping bodies. You know how much malice you have to have in your heart to not even let yourself rest in peace? You still want to cause havoc even after death? Run it back, Turbo. What Charleston White said again? One, one of Satan's, Satan's greatest Soldiers! Now granted, the new Batman, Terry McGoatness, fixed that issue, but that's another video we for another day, cause damn that fight was good. Nice. And if y'all think this man is only a menace to superheroes, then you are dead wrong because he will even treat his own henchmen poorly. In the Joker 10th anniversary edition, Joker was released from Arkham Asylum. Why? Wait. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 wait, hey, 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 Are the people in this universe stupid? Why would you release this mass murderer who has done every felon in the book and clearly shows no remorse? Are y'all heads caved in or something? Do y'all have an IQ score of three? What possibly made y'all think that that was a good idea? Are y'all... <sighs> Anyways, Joker then goes to a strip club and meets up with his old co-worker Monty, but he get a little irritated at the fact that he had Harley Quinn to be a stripper. So my man start concocting something evil in his head. Hands together, just rubbing the things, plotting something devious. So he has Harley lure him into the back room, and guess what happens? He skins him alive! Everything is out! His pussy, his booty meat, 
everything. It's like taking off the skin of a chicken nugget, but in a way more disgusting and painful way. And just to add more ice into the cake, before bro died, Joker forced him to dance on stage until he collapsed. Had bro shaking his hips and looking goofy until his time was up. Uh -huh. Say, I'm a goofy. I'm a goofy. I love, I love being a goofy. I love being a goofy. Lord have mercy. That's not even the end of it. But I'm going to let my boy C. Green, the dream, take it from here. All right, folks. Listen up. Let me talk to you real quick. This nigga Joker is the most evil, <laughs> diabolical, despicable <laughs> motherfucker on the planet, bro. Like, I don't care how you feel about Dark Side, Doomsday, and Brainiac, bro. They don't compare to the amount of malice this nigga Joker has. Bro. Like if you think what my nigga Jalen has said was bad, then <laughs> you ain't heard shit yet, bro. So let's start this off by talking about the Emperor Joker comic. In this story, Joker tricks Mr. Mizzle, huh? Mizzle, t m what? What the what? do I even call him? What? How do you pronounce that? Mr. Mystic, that's his name, I don't give a- He tricks Mr. Mystic into giving him reality warping cosmic powers. Now before we even move any further, Bruce, how the hell do you allow this shit to happen? Like that nigga shouldn't even be allowed to leave the crib. You should have a tracking device on him at all times, but yet he was able to attain cosmic powers powers what do y'all do at the justice league just sit around and beat me joker is literally just a normal nigga with just mental issues and yet you let him bamboozle you every chance he gets and before you dc nerds come into the comments talking about some well actually joker has a healing factor that a lot man i don't give a fuck batman literally has a contingency plan to kill the justice league if they snap you mean to tell me you can't do shit about a clown man let me get back on track before i get heated now the second joker gets these cosmic powers he gets straight down to business his first order as ceo eliminating the ops and of course the first nigga to go is batman with a snap of his fingers he easily bans bruce from chat killing him off instantly but that alone wasn't enough to satisfy the joker he decides to kill bruce over and over and over again for all of eternity next he proceeds to recreate the universe in his image first he takes harley quinn Quinn's sexy ass and turns her into a constellation, plasters his face across every planet in the universe, and then he proceeds to do the unthinkable. This nigga eats China, which is 1.4 billion people. What? What the fuck? Imagine seeing a big ass clown put you and everyone you know and love inside Chinese to-go boxes and proceed to eat all of you alive with chopsticks. That's insane. What did I do to you? Stop! He also transforms the earth into a cube, which honestly isn't that bad. It's just a real life Minecraft oh. All he needs to do is spawn some Joker and Harley Quinn themed creepers and then you're set. And speaking of Harley Quinn, that nigga Joker does not deserve her! Like, look at her! Do you not see how fine this woman is? And he rejects her on a daily basis! There is literally an episode of Harley Quinn climbing out of a big ass cream pie, but booty naked singing happy anniversary. And do you know what this nigga Joker does? He throws her out into the fucking hyenas. Like, oh, I, I hate this nigga, bro. I hate him. Like, this nigga Joker really passed up the sloppiest Tiana Trump Gawk Gawk 3000 tongue twister for a nigga in a Halloween costume. Like, do you guys seriously understand how crazy that shit sounds? Imagine Kalani Rogers' sexy ass came and offered you up the poom poom. But instead of going for her, you decide to bend over your rage. Her crazy ass needs to be bouncing on my dick. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all, I, I got a little out of my element there. Uh, let's get back on track. Now, let's talk about how the Joker corrupted Superman, bro. So in the Injustice timeline, we find out Superman and Lois Lane are going to have a baby. Metropolis is at peace. Batman and everyone else is happy. Everything seems right with the world. Until we find out that the Joker kidnapped Lois Lane. Who? Hold on, cuz. Lewis Lane. Hold on! Superman immediately flies off and begins searching for Lewis Lane. He eventually finds the abandoned warehouse where she's being kept, only to run into a trap. The second Superman enters the room, he gets hit in the face with nothing but Scarecrow's fear gas, causing him oh, to hallucinate oh, all of his worst oh, fears. And the second that nigga turns around, he sees Doomsday. <laughs> Superman immediately stands on business and gets to squabbling. He hits him with the meanest right-left-right combo, hitting him with down air specials. I'm talking about 
Mortal Kombat X-rays, bro. We see that Batman and the Justice League have finally captured the Joker. And you already know Bruce and the Joker do their little song and dance where Joker explains his evil plot and Batman asks why he does what he does. And do you know what this nigga Joker says, bro? The reason he did it was because he always loses to Batman and he wanted to win for a change. Is this nigga serious? Joker then reveals that Doomsday oh. is actually Lewis Lane. Then tells Batman that he also planted a detonator in Lewis Lane's heart. So if her heart stops, all of Metropolis <laughs> will explode. Batman immediately hops on the radio and tells Superman that what he's seeing isn't Doomsday, but it's already too late. As a result, Superman's wife and his unborn child dies in space. And just like that nigga Joker said, following the death of Lewis Lane, Metropolis is New. Superman proceeds to have the most justifiable crash out in the entire series and pulls up on the Joker. And Joker is talking that straight hot shit. That man all up in his face talking about, that's right, Superman. I took your wife, your baby, and your city. And Superman was not having it. Batman's over here trying to de-escalate the situation and save both of his boyfriends in the process. Clark, honey pie, you're better than this. You can't kill the Joker. Don't do it. Nah, yeah. Bruce, fuck all that. I'm gonna do what you should have done years ago. And he proceeds to kill the Joker. It's about damn time. And that's all the evidence I'm gonna present for this nigga Joker, bro. Because if we sat down and explained every single thing that he's done, this video will be about two, three, four hours long. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pass it back to my boy Jalen. Shoot, there ain't much else for me to say. But that's how the Joker became the most diabolical villain in fiction history.